this place down probably don't have a clue that they're repeating history. What happened on 3rd Street uh, back in uh, 1967 when they burned up their own neighborhood. Stores that we frequent and that we needed because they were angry. And, you, and what it was is displaced anger. Displaced anger is extremely dangerous. Have you had a lot of the, uh, the locals come out and kind of come forward with evidence? Have they been very helpful at all? Or have people been a little bit more apprehensive right now just because it's a couple days, it's still pretty fresh and people don't really want to talk? Right. It's, it's still pretty fresh and, um, you know, and feelings are raw, but um, the community uh, here today has been, has been wonderful. I want to say it was the right way to go about dealing with shit, but shit, how can you tell of oppressive people what how to deal about things, you know what I mean? They want us to tear this shit up. We falling into a motherfucking trap, they're like, yeah, go fuck that up. Go fuck that up so we can do exactly what we want to y'all. You right, if this shit ain't ours, why the fuck we even fucking it up? Fuck it, walk by, it's gonna tear down itself. A lot of black people think they have arrived. They think everything is cool, but no. The agenda, their agenda uh, is being fulfilled because they taught us to hate ourselves a long time ago. And we still see that. And uh, one last question, what do you think is the root of the racism, the hatred, the bigotry? Why, why do you think uh, people, I mean, you, people definitely teach that to each other, but they have to learn it from somebody and they have to learn it from somebody. What's the core of it? What's driving these people? I'm going to tell you this right here. Uh, the Bible tells us that in the last days, the love of many will wax worse and worse. And we don't know the day or the hour when the Lord will return, but we can know the season. Now, I'm going to say this. that There was an incident when a police shot a guy that was laying on the ground with his hands up. And he had a retired guy with him. And after he shot the guy, the guy said, why you shoot me? And he said, I don't know. And he really didn't know. And he was overtaken. And I honestly believe that they have accepted themselves to demonic activity. It's, it's just been, it's a beautiful ride and it's a beautiful thing to witness people that are awakened to the truth and support truth and support freedom. And those because that support freedom support the freedom of every person and support the, the cosmic law of the universe. And those that follow the cosmic law end up being successful in life.